Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. It does feel like a while since I've done a show vlog. But here we are, we're doing a show vlog. Mr Jones is going to Kelsall, he's doing the clear round and the British novice. So it's proper BS show, we're, you know, we're levelling up. He's in his stable now, having his breakfast. The other two are out in the paddock. Let's get going. The lighting situation, I'm not completely... I'm not, I don't know how to get the best of my lighting because it was my birthday on Friday, today's Tuesday, and my dad got me the most dad present of all time. It's brilliant, not, not, not knocking you dad, it's bloody brilliant. Um, he got me a massive LED work lamp and it kicks out so much light. So I'm either blinding myself or there's shadows everywhere. Um, I, haven't, I haven't got to grips with it yet, but when I do, Get ready for a cinematic experience. Look at it, it's a monster. So, I've marked out the other two stables. I've not done Mr. Jones's because we're a bit busy. So I'm gonna groom him now, whilst he's eating his haylage. Get some tack on him. Look at this. Look at this. So when I was clipping Mr. Jones the other day, I just thought his mane was really annoying me. It was all long and just annoying. So I got the scissors out and just did a really, really rough job that I was going to, going to um, tidy up later on that day and I forgot. And now I'm not really going to have time to do anything about that. I mean, it's not anywhere near straight. This bit's about three inches longer than... Oh, dear. What am I like? Whoopsie. Well, the good news is, if we just canter really fast, no one's going to tell anyway. I think it's probably best if I just crack on, get him ready, and start filming again when I'm not in a mad rush. You know? Communications. I don't really have time to be shampooing, but the state of his tail, I just... There are shortcuts you can take, and there are shortcuts that you cannot take, and you can't turn up with a tail that bad. So, Lovely, lovely job. So glamorous. I'm going to try and very quickly just tidy up this because it is pretty bad. Although, with about three seconds, I'm not sure what I can achieve. Oh, these are the wrong scissors. Oh. I know, Papa. I always struggle to go back up, but wow. go that way. not straight at all. It's, it's a mane, isn't it? Yes. Okay. I'm going to stop messing around now and I'm going to get some tack on him, load him up into the horse box, get changed and see if the dogs are out of bed yet. They would not come out this morning. There's no chance. Probably does know. It's 
fun. Okay, so that's a wrap. It's a beautiful morning. Very beautiful. Come on, Mr. Jones, look alive, look excited. I think this is the first time. Yeah, this will be the first show that we've been to, just the two of us. Normally, McAllister is in tow. Not today. He's got a new career. Well, for the winter. For the winter, he's going to be a hunting horse. And he went out for the first time last week. Tried to film it for you, but got in too much of a rush. Um, typical me. And you need to get through the gate, Poppet. Okay. And yeah, he was really promising. So he signed up to go hunting for a season. And then I'll bring him back into being a show jumper in the spring. But Mr. Jones was just going to keep pushing on and ticking over and hopefully he can affiliate officially soon. But then I need to think of a show name. What's his show name going to be? Because Mr. Jones isn't really going to cut it. We need something big and grand and or something funny. I don't know. I don't know. Comment your suggestions down below if you have any. Otherwise it's going to be something like Jennifer's Little Angel or something. I'm hoping my hat and my boots are already in the lorry. The horse box is not really a lorry, it's just a little van. Um, yeah, I hope they're there. And I hope they're clean. Lots of things left to chance today. It's exciting. Love that. We are G to G. Are you coming? Are you two coming with? You're awake now. Whoever Jennifer was last week, I don't want to meet her again. She has made my life so much more difficult this morning than it needed to be. I got in the horse box and I'm on reserve fuel. That's just, I don't do that, that's not me. I never leave the horse box with no fuel in it. But apparently I did last week, so naughty me. Now we're gonna go make a little pit stop at the garage, get some fuel and be on our way and if we get there on time it's going to be a miracle because on a normal day I'd say no problem we've got an hour to get there plenty of time but it's three minutes past eight so we're going to hit school traffic and rush hour traffic somewhere along the way and there's no point in worrying about it because there's nothing I can do so I'm not worrying I'm just aware but I can't change it it is what it is. Let's try that again, shall we? That'll do. We're here. We're here, little ones. <laughs> He's so cute when he yawns. We're here, we're parked up. We are. Where is number one? too bad at all. Only eight fences, so not a lot can go wrong. She says that now. Um, no, I honestly don't think there's anything to worry about in there. I can't imagine why he wouldn't get round. He might kick the fence out because he can be a bit lazy and immature, but we'll see. I am quite looking forward to just seeing how he gets on today because normally, obviously, I have Mr. Jones and McAllister here and they just sort of, they both get around and we make the best of it um, but today we've got the clear round and the British novice so it'll be quite nice to see how he copes with going in twice and if there's any significant improvements or disasters it's all the unknown, very exciting um, I have just been called up to the judges box because I haven't given them my ticket code yet But we'll have to deal with that later because I have not got time to do that now. That's what I'm saying. I need to get my jacket on, get some reins on Mr. Jones, and then we'll get on and go. They sound like they've started. I really hope they haven't started already. They are early if they have. No, they're talking to each other, if you can hear that. Right, I'm going. I need to go. Bye.
Hello, it's me. I'm back. We finished jumping, so I'm just giving him a little walk off up the track. So the clear round, he was just a bit rusty. Was he rusty? There was something, he wasn't quite in his zone yet. I did give him a bit of a warm up, like, so I'm not sure why. But anyway, he wasn't on his A game. So we had a couple down in the clear round. And then I thought, oh, he's gonna be tired going into the British novice and he's probably gonna smash them all down. But he only had one down and it was probably my fault. We were on a related distance, slightly uphill. And I was off, I was off it. I, I was very much off it. And instead of just, I do this every time, instead of just sitting there, keeping hold of his head and giving him a little squeeze, so like we get a bit more oomph, I take away, I pull. So I have more time to think about the situation, but I don't need more time to think about it because the outcome's always the same. I'm gonna have the fence down. I don't know why I do it, why do I do that? Crazy. So anyway, he had number 10 down and we were taking strides out to the last and he jumped it lovely. It was quite big, really. Probably the biggest show jump he's jumped. Um, so yeah, really very pleased with him. It was good. And it was nice that he did cope with doing both classes. So yeah, watch this space. Mr. Jones has got a lot to come, I think. I hope. Does he? Good boy. Well, it's a lovely sunny day, at least. We're turning around, are we? Good idea. So all in all, it's been quite successful, really. I got here on time, filled up the horse box with fuel. I've trimmed his mane so it's kind of acceptable. Jumped two decent rounds. And now I just need to get back to the horse box and see what destruction Otis has made for me. Last time he was left in the horse box, he chewed the steering wheel. So I can't wait to find what he's left for me. It's so exciting. Oh. Hello. Oh, I see you've been chewing the seat. Well, that's good. Please for you. Oh, baby. Go on in. You clever boy. You can come up a little bit, but you can't wander off, okay? Are you tired? Would you like a mint? You're not a big mint fan, are you? Have a mint. Oh. All it. Why are you crying? Sorry, Otis was feeling. Um, Otis was feeling left out, and he would like to be centre of attention. All in all, not a bad, not a bad morning's work. Very, very pleased. I need to stop rambling and go home. Bless you, my little sausage. What is it? Have you got another one? Yeah. Okay, let's go home, shall we? We need to get into the front. Dylan's got the right idea. Are you driving? Yeah? Come on then. We're home. <laughs> Are you a tired boy? Are you a tired little boy? Um, Otis. What's going on? to muck out his stable. I still need to ride McAllister. Billy can have a day off today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, and then I've got to go and do some work because I had a phone call saying that I have a job. I just, my camera's just been knocked over and I'm looking a bit of a funny colour on the screen. So if my camera's broken, that'd be very annoying.
<laughs> what is that noise? What is that noise? Right, should we leave them to it? Should we leave the ponies and pit oh. Well, as I suspected, I have now broken my vlog camera. The lens is all squiffy, so never mind. Happy birthday to me. I'll get a new one, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I'm so tired and delirious. I don't know. I've not done a show vlog for a while. And I just feel like I'm out of my rhythm and I feel a little bit awkward. And like I don't know what to tell you and what to show you. But that's my problem, that's not your problem. So, if you've made it this far, well done you, because I'm sure this has been a incoherent mess. Come on, boys! Yay, good boys. Come on then. Just before I completely die of starvation, I am gonna clean out the horse box very, very quickly because that's what Jennifer does. She cleans out the horse box, ready for its next use, and she fills it up with fuel so that she can just get in and go when everything's done. Oh my goodness, tired isn't even the word. I don't know what's wrong with me. It wasn't even a particularly difficult morning, but I suppose it was an early start. Maybe that's why I'm tired. I've got a bit of a headache. Guys, this could be it. Is this it? Am I going? I'm ready.